Hi guys and welcome back to uh, my next video on the Harley. Now this has taken a little bit more time um, getting to you than I thought it would. Um, you know there's lots going on in the world right now and due to um, various reasons um, my stuff has taken a while to come back from the paint shop but it's finally here as you can see over there behind me. Um, I'm in my new build space today um, as you can see neither of these are the Harley. Um, and that's just because I haven't got enough bench space to show you the bits on. So I thought I'd film from here today and then uh, later on in this video you see me uh, whacking it all on the Harley um, and getting more of an idea where this build is going. Now, um, obviously the last few uh, videos have just been um, the little smaller mods that I've been doing um, and I've kind of ground to a halt um, waiting for these bits to come back. So I haven't opened them yet. Um, I can't wait to see what they look like and I can't wait to show you. So let's have a look now. one had um, had a slight dent down the side there and that's come out um, beautifully really really nice this is the right side cover the oil tank um, cover it's just this color is just phenomenal it's kind of like a uh, it's got it's a, dark, it's a dark blue, but it's got a bit of green in it, which is really nice. I'm really happy with those. As you can see, I've not even opened it yet, so I have no idea. Uh, well, I know what it, I have an idea of what it's going to look like, but haven't yet seen it. So, so excited to open this up. So there it is, that's the centerpiece of this build, um, going for that old school kind of look, as you can see. Um, really, really, really happy with it. Um, the blue's come out brilliant. This kind of off-white, I think it technically is a grey, but I'm just dead, 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 dead pleased with how, the, how it's come out. But let's go see how it looks on the bike. So back in the garage now, and I'll just quickly show you uh, a few little bits that I haven't um, put in that basically is just what I've been tinkering away with um, whilst I've been waiting for this stuff back from the paint shop. So as I left it on the last video, this was the top clamp I'd ordered um, with this bracket from Boneyard Garage for the speedo relocation. Now, as I said, it wasn't too happy with um, how that sat. So I managed to find this um, top clamp from 
uh, DK Customs, which is an American company, but I found it on eBay. So, um, so I got it for a bit of a bargain, and I didn't have to pay import duty or any of that kind of stuff. But that is exactly what I was looking for. Something really nice, really clean. Um, you keep your your dash lights up there, um, but it's all integrated, and it just looks really, really smart. Um, and you obviously you got the speedo down there. So uh, that's that's the first thing I'll show you guys. And the second being the side mount plate. Um, with uh, the LED um, uh, plate lights on as well, um, which I have then um, and I've braided the cable on this as well, just so it looks a little bit smarter because it will be running along the swing arm there. And finally, I wanted to show you the removal of this for you guys, but I just couldn't hold on. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure it fitted. But I bought a Screaming Eagle Heavy Breather um, kit. Well, I say kit. It's just the, it's just the mounting um, uh, sort of fitting, as it were. Um, so you've got the housing there without the, the cleaning, um, without the filter on it. So I'm on the hunt for a filter that will fit. Um, I found a quite an unusual one, which I think will really, really uh, be quite unique on this. So I'm going to try and make sure that fits onto um, this housing, but it's a little bit second. I mean, it was 60 quid or something like that. So I cannot complain one bit for the price. I think you should be able to see there's a little bit of damage. So I was thinking of getting this powder coated, but uh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to play it by ear, to be honest, because um, it's not terrible. It's not fantastic, but um, you know, it could always. I guess it could be better. So those are just a few bits I've been playing around with um, whilst been waiting for these bits to come back. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt anyway, uh, fitting the stuff fresh back from the paint shop. So I'm um, this two inch uh, tank lift kit. From, um, from Barnyard Garage, which are literally just two little tabs to add. Um, I'm not sure if two inches is a little bit high for what I'm after, but it's what I've got for now, so I'm gonna whack it on, see how it looks, um, and then I can reassess if it's, if it's too big. So um, I'm not doing it up, um, not doing everything up dead tight at the moment because I still have um, to fit the front indicators and I've got to order some, changed my mind a bit on how I want the front end to look. So um, I'm gonna have to order uh, a new set of, uh, of indicators. So um, the plug of which is kind of sits just under the tank. So I'm not gonna do it all up at the moment because I'll have to um, pop it off to fit the indicators, but obviously I will tighten up come to ride in all right okay so I totally forgot I have a little kit of um, teeny tiny little stainless bolts which I, I totally forgot I had so they have come in handy um, for fitting on the um, side panels here so as I said these if it focuses so these were pop uh, I think they're called pop rivets or push rivets or something um, but they were riveted on um, and uh, I don't have any of those. So these little bolts are gonna have to do for now. I have no idea how durable uh, it will be doing it this way. I can't imagine um, why it wouldn't be. Um, I've coated all the bolts in ACF uh, 50 to uh, try and prevent a bit of corrosion. Um, but yeah, but I mean, they look, they look nice, which is, they look really good against the blue, which is, which is really nice. Just gonna feed the uh, indicator cables through a little modulator.
Okay, so that's it for uh, this video. Um, as I said, I've left things fairly loose for now um, and I'll go back through uh, later on to properly fit the indicators um, uh, front and rear, of course. And then I'll go through and tighten everything up so it's all good. Um, so it's all good to go. We'll get the seat on next time as well. Uh, and we'll go through and tidy up a few little other bits. I think I'm gonna take the side reflectors off um, and a few little bits like that. But until then, if you can uh, subscribe and like and all the other stuff that you should do on YouTube, <laughs> that'd be great. Um, and if you wanna come over and follow me on Instagram, it's at Jake the Tinder, which is the same as it is here. Um, but until then, have a wicked week uh, and I'll see you later.